Welcome back to Jusant. Let's continue with Chapter 3. It must be blisteringly hot up here. You can see the distortions in the air. Logbook, 12 octaves and one third after the Jusant. This is an adventure, all right. I mean, fine, we've only just gotten started. We still haven't strayed off the beaten path. But for me, this is huge. I can't wipe the smile off my face. I think I needed this. To feel the rocks under my hands. To experience something out of the ordinary. To move. I'm getting to know my companions better. Though our chit-chat mainly revolves around which route to take to join the expedition. Met and Sol are already getting along like a house on fire. They can probably hear us laughing all the way down on the salt plain. By embarking on this journey, Sol wants to try to return to the world of yesterday. And Met wants to save the world of tomorrow. As for me, if I can just make it to the meeting point alive, I'll be happy. I never dared leave home before now. Well, leave for real without my parents. But I dreamed about it. Having incredible adventures. Finding a new port to call home. Anywhere but low tide. I never really felt like I belonged there. Maybe I didn't try hard enough. Spent too much time dreaming of far-off places. But what is there for me back in low tide? Apart from empty houses and questions without answers. It was high time to give something else a try. For me and Met, climbing is usually something we do and we have no other choice. To say we hesitate each time we have to launch ourselves into the open air with only our rope securing us is an understatement but we encourage and belay each other. For Sol, it's a different story. He sets the route with incredible ease. He tells us about how he used to climb as a kid to gather seaweed with his parents. That was before the Jusant, another era. Since then, he's seen the drought slowly transform the tower into a desert. Sol reminds me of the sailors from the stories you sometimes hear, the ones who can't get used to the inertia of the tower after spending their entire lives on the waves. Sol himself is definitely ungainly when it comes to walking, which terrified us as kids. But when he climbs, he's as nimble as the sar I tried to carve. Look at him go. You can see him just kind of... Almost like snails or something. Just kind of wiggling around on the ground. Yeah, it's like they inflate when they get startled and they want to move. They're very, very small, but then their head or whatever that is inflates. <laughs> God, they're pretty cute. What is our objective? Up. I guess that's no surprise. Also, sometimes you can make life appear even if it doesn't have any particular, like, usefulness. You can do it just because it's nice. Oh, you can make even more grow? Yeah, wow. I pressed the wrong button again. I have to look at my adorable little buddy. How horrible.
Oh, that's quite a ways away. Is there a way back? I'm going to assume not and make sure I get everything here. I doubt there's anything over there. But what if there is and what if I actually can get there? And I feel like I might be able to. Let me... Whoa. Let me first see if I can grab any of this stuff. No. Yeah, alright, let's try this. Ooh, okay. Okay, yeah, maybe we can get there. Oh yeah, I totally made it over here. Had to reposition some of these. Um, however, you can't even grab onto the edge. You're definitely not supposed to be there. Alright, let's zip down. God, that'd be so fun. Terrifying, but so fun. Man, look at those. Yeah, I'm starting to think those are not carvings, but actually fossils. The scale is immense. There's something over there. Because I could probably make it there. Hmm. We can go both ways. Left and right. Secrets up here? Or just a dead end? Just a dead end. <laughs> Stamina drops more quickly when the sun's out. Oh, that's a cool mechanic. Oh, that's why it's got red around it. So heated up that I'm getting exhausted quickly. Roots wilt in the sun and disappear after a certain amount of time. Oh! Oh, you can see them steaming. Ooh, those are not going to last long at all. Like five, ten seconds, maybe? Let's be fast. Max stem is going down really fast. I can totally get over there. No problem. Huh. <laughs> 
Okay, this is a little bit awkward. Huh? Come on, jump. <laughs> no. Uh, maybe that's not it. Let's try again. Okay, that might be better. Is there another way there? I mean, there's a thing you can climb up, which implies that there's probably somewhere you can climb down. But I can do this. Yeah, there we go. These are in the shade, so they're not getting cooked. Uh. Oh, that was close. to wind in the rope and regain all of your stamina. Oh, that's cool. Little rest point. critical path. Where was the other way gonna go? Oh no. This will probably link up, right? button again. Squish, squish.
Oh, those creatures are new. They're like little walking gemstones. Oh, so cute. So vibrant. Yeah, I think I meant to go up there. Let's check out this first. version of those gem creatures we just saw. So this was a water storehouse. Yeah, it seems to show someone blowing through a shell, making a noise up at the clouds, and the clouds seem to be raining. Calling the rain, I think. It is very dark in here. Bye-bye. Well, they got grippy feet. There's a ledge beneath me. Kind of want to drop down. Yeah, I think it's up there. Or down here. Let's go see what's down here. One of the toys they showed. Uh, let me see if I can point it out. The one just at my foot? Not the one with the horns, but the one next to it? That's our little buddy. Our little water bear. Oh, 
Where do you go? The rest of the way up, I think. pathway. I don't need to take it. I can just climb up here. Or wait, can I? Oh, well, maybe not. No, all the handholds are broken. Oh my god! Oh, that's so cool! Wow, they're so strong! I cannot believe they can hold my entire weight! Thank you! They gonna go into that little tunnel? Yeah. Look at them go in there. Bye-bye! Logbook, 12 octaves and one-fifth after the jusante. There are so many people climbing down from the heights. I feel like a fish swimming upstream, like in the stories. Before the jusante, we rose and fell with the tides. I remember hearing the old schooners describe enormous waves, ones that drove people upward with each high tide. They'd never seen the ocean themselves. They were just repeating what they'd heard from their elders when they themselves were young. But there must have been a grain of truth to those stories, right? The ocean nourished the cliffs, and in return, the cliffs nourished the entire tower. Anyway, the inhabitants of low tide set enough store in them to set off in search of the ocean. I wavered, too. Should we try to hook the lost water? In a way, yes, but not by going with the flow. I have the answer now, thanks to Arlo and Becca. We need to go back to the source. We shared our shady spot with a man named Zoe. He was on his way down to the plane and tried to convince us to go with him. Why stay? He didn't understand why we wouldn't go. You won't get nothing out of these fields no more. The earth ain't worth a blessed thing. He grabbed a fistful of dust and held it up as proof. So he continued on his way while we prolonged our break, dreading having to go back out into the blazing sun. I refuse to believe him. Ever since we set off, I feel like I'm rediscovering the tower. Like I've never truly looked at it or listened to it before. My perspective's changing the higher up we go. I'm sure we're on the right track. Bianca. Potato pigs. so many places to go. Oh, it's one of those light things that you can spin. Brella Gazette, issue 21. Seven octaves and three-sixths after the jusante. Editorial. Brown or black fur, big ears, prone to both nervousness and laziness. There's nothing more common than a choco. 
Too dull and unremarkable for a special issue, right? Wrong. In this issue of the Gazette, we'll do our best to make the ordinary extraordinary, starting with the most unobtrusive of beings, Chocos. These mammals are useful to us, bipeds, in two key ways. They lay eggs and line their nests with fur, providing delicious meals and dense balls of wool. Not the other way around. Raising them is no easy task, however, Chocos are escape artists. Through our action, or rather inaction, they've taken to nesting all over the tower, though they're native to the Highfield region. Did you know, Chocos work together to incubate their sparkling eggs and watch over their young. Some would argue that taking turns makes for better naps. But take a closer look at what's in their nests, and you may be in for a surprise. Chocos love to sit on anything that shines. Keep reading for more fun facts about Chocos and their habits. Okay, so potato pigs are the Chocos. I think I'm going to keep calling them potato pigs, though. Sada, what's new? Any work for us? Orders are drying up, and business at the Ropeworks is far too slow for my liking. I'm starting to get bored. I've brushed up on all my knots, and I've done the accounting. I've been putting off recycles, and Ulf dusted all the machines. But now we're stuck twiddling our thumbs. We're not very good at doing nothing. Glad to know there's still someone left on the tower. Sada went with the flow, just like everyone else. I don't really see what they're expecting to find in the desert. It's not like the sun's going to budge any more there than it does here. No need for new ropes, but you're welcome to come by whenever you like. You'll soon get used to doing nothing, you'll see. It suits us anyway. We have more time for each other. Cass. I love that it can carry you with it. <sighs> to the person who left a caramel bun in the canteen, I ate it. Sorry. Not sorry. There's no one around anymore anyway. Gas. <laughs> yeah, that plant growth just leads up to here. Not to anywhere that I couldn't otherwise get to, it looks like. And look at that tangled root coming out of the bottom of that thing. Oh, right, that's the thing you can spin. But I don't think I can get there from here. No. 
How do we get there? I probably just continue this way and something will loop around. Look at all those little rock creatures. Can I kick these? No, I don't think so. Oh, here we go. Whew. I guess I can just hold on. I don't really need to reach for the next one, do I? Go over here. No. Hmm. Does that just make them stop? Oh, it does. Interesting. All right, we're gonna have to get off this train at some point. Maybe we should just start over. Whoa, stuck there. There we go. This one taking the high path? No? Not there. Okay. We can rest here. Okay, where are we going from here? Uh, it's not really letting me move the camera much. Are we going down? Are we going a? Oh, we're going across the fan blade, aren't we? Oh yes, we are.
we can swing it. Now what? Oh, hello. Listen to your heart and follow your instincts. That's all I can tell you. Go, if you must. I won't be going with you. My roots are here. I'm an old man. All I want is to stay on my land, at peace with the world around me. Farewell. I wish you all the best. I'll go to the old tree for as long as I can, and I'll cherish your memory as my most prized possession. I'll be sad, but knowing you're out there somewhere will comfort me. A tiny plant growing in the desert. Oh, Grandpa. I'm gonna be sad, too. I already am. Mama says we'll come back when the sun wills it. But I don't believe it. The sun doesn't will it. Because if it did, we wouldn't be stuffing everything in the house into flour sacks. I heard the water in the desert steams and is stinky. That's what Tommy says. She's already been there to make sure there was room for her animals, and she's going back with us. Unky says if you change your mind, you know where to find us. He doesn't want to write to you. He says you made Mama mad, and that I shouldn't be writing this. I love you and I don't want to go, but I'm going, so bye, Grandpa. Ez. Hmm. That's how you get down to the, um, the light thingy that you spin. Yeah. This is the same one we saw before, right? Yeah, we, I think we saw it through there. Because I remember there's a bunch of, like, boards and stuff in the way. Pick me up. Oh, that's so handy. I love that.
There's an elevator. What's over here, though? Looks like there might be two ways to go. There's the main one, which is just down the center, straight up. And then also right there, kind of like in that shell, it sort of looks like there's a lip there that you could maybe get onto. Let's go. Let's go. 